What's up? Random Ninja James from TrueJugglerFamily.com. Something wicked this way comes, and here it is. I'm talking about the wildest band in the world, the motherfucking Wolf Pack. I'm here with Daddy Long Legs. I'm here with Buddha, Bizarro Buddha today, and Katie Kush. Katie Kush. 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 Beautiful Katie Kush. Kush. Beautiful Kush. Katie Kush, man. What's up, guys? Welcome Look to it. Fort Worth, Tejas. Thank you. Love in Texas. Oh, 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 oh. Love it. Really? Yeah. Love okay. in Texas. Y'all ain't been to oh, Texas man. in a little while, have you? Right. No, we haven't been since the, I want to say, American Psycho. American story. Psycho. Yeah, yeah, American Psycho. But y'all didn't, didn't come to the DFW. That was, that was probably Lotus. Lotus and Park. Oh, yeah, so yeah. Lotus, yeah. Kind of, you know, fairies, we, whatever we're on, you know, whatever, it's one big blur. Sure. <laughs> when we hit like, we can hit like Montreal, it's like, we're in Texas. We <laughs> two minutes before we go on, we usually ask whoever's standing by the stage, like, what town are we in? <laughs> what are we doing? What's going on right now? And then we try to win it from there. Yeah, Pretty much. Hey, I've seen plenty of guys that should have done that. Right. Man, you shout out the wrong town. Yeah, about What's up, Denver? It was a D. It was, it was close to Dallas. <laughs> you know, just get that down, bro. That's the way it works. But that, this isn't, of course, this isn't other shelf ever toured. I mean, y'all, y'all gone overseas and stuff, right? Absolutely. Yes. Done yes. Europe, done Japan. Uh, we've been, uh, we've been kicked out of Europe before. What? Yes. Yeah, we were, we were held 24 hours in customs in Europe. Uh, and Japan loves us, which is insane, but we don't understand how that works. <laughs> it's it's baffling. Yeah, don't know baffling. how it works. Don't care. And now we're getting. We, what was it? Where did we just? Oh, what the fuck did we just get those sales on? Uh, Oh, there was South Africa. South Africa South was Africa, one. Yeah, and there was, was another one that we just looked up that was like a ninth world nation. It was like oh. somewhere by Russia. Oh, what the fuck is that? The, 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 all the way up top in Russia. What is that called? Siberia. Siberia. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say top of Russia. It was yeah, crazy. Right. It was like, crazy though, because then I Google mapped it. It was like, this is the fuck. People are listening to our music here? This is fucking weird. They don't even have running water or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome, man. We'll practice spread oh, down. Like man. AIDS? Oh, <laughs> yes. We're like AIDS. <laughs> no. Okay, so like speaking on that tour we're talking about now, this is obviously not just a typical tour. I mean, this is an awesome tour. This is the most stacked tour I've seen in a long time. I oh, yeah, swear. seriously. I mean, there's this. It's the underground. It's everyone in the underground is on this tour. It's, it's a little nuts. sampling from a lot of different camps. Yeah. It's dope. You, know, you have a lot of representation for a lot of things, and it's just, it just really works together. The other thing that's cool about it is there's no rock stars in anything. <laughs> like, we're all fucking everybody. It, it, last night at the venue, <laughs> we were filming because we do a viral thing on Wolfpack TV. Sure. Uh, we're calling it the Triple T. It's the Tasty Tour Tidbits. And uh, last night, we had everybody behind the venue at this creek watching two of our mask guys swim across the scummy river from snakes and alligators in yeah. southern Utah or, or yeah, Houston, yeah, whatever the fuck it was. Houston, or, Texas. While yep. scum. And Prozac bet money on who would die first. <laughs> who would die first? Yes. Not who would make it, who would die no, who first. Who would die first? Yeah. I lost. I'm pissed. You lost. Oh, Nobody hey. died. No. Scum, scum did make $45 for laundry. Okay. And we did okay. that there. That's why I smelled today. Because I only got $45 <laughs> for laundry. Okay, you know, uh, speaking of uh, the mass men, uh, I remember back in the day, y'all had, had hype, right? Yes. yes. Y'all had hype. Yes. Right. Now you have a small militia. Of <laughs> yeah. Hype is currently serving a 23-year sentence in Philadelphia. Yes, he is. In fact, if you Google, there's a great picture, and I'll send it to you, <laughs> okay. of oh, Hype. Yeah. The Pope just came to Philadelphia. And Hype was part of an operation. We don't know what happened with it, but we don't know how it ended up. Someone didn't do the job right here. There is Hype <laughs> shaking the Pope's hand. What? Yes. I will send it to you. You can put it on the thing. You can show it. And that is our boy, Chris. We love this guy. Much love to you, brother. Yes. Get out soon. But he's the originator of the mask guy mode. Because he was just insanity. Yeah, oh, we absolutely. We played a show. Sure. And also the door would open. We played, this is how Hype was born. We played this weird show. I don't know what was going on. Hype wanted to wear a ski mask because he got, I got him, he's just a crazy dude. And also this door opens up and it's traffic cones. The big ones. <laughs> yeah. And he starts hitting these skinhead kids in the heads with these huge traffic cones. <laughs> And it was all, and we're like, that, that <laughs> should become a part of this. <laughs> and then we started bringing girls around, and that became part of it. It's just, that's, Wolfpack is a developing, it's mutating, it's constantly evolving into something. That's what people don't understand. We're not a, a, a two piece, one piece, and eight piece. There, there's times that I might not be there, these guys can do this, the whole show without me. We, we make it so it's like an octopus, you can lose an arm and keep going. It just it can spread out, it can die, it just, it just keeps mutating. That's why we add stuff and retract stuff. Uh, we used to do shows with like Slipknot or like E-Town Concrete. We'd have two guitarists. Uh, last yeah. year, gathered not last year, but the year before, we added a drummer just for the fuck of it. Much like Twisted Edit, did you see? Did you see any of the footage for them with the live band? Yeah, yeah, the Wickedness. The oh yes. my yeah. god! Oh my god! And that that, that doesn't come to the gathering this year. Like that, they, that's the twist of the Okay, you know, speaking of the gathering, man, y'all guys, y'all become a really big part of the gathering. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, how do you think you can get rid of us? We're like Ron Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, just show up. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. doesn't call us or anything. We just kind of show up. Yeah, and, uh, just go over there. Yeah, we're, we're like, hey, right. what's up, Rob? And they're like, oh, fuck. All right, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I, I've seen insane stuff at the gathering. Like, anybody who's been in the gathering has seen some insanity. Sure. But yeah. probably like the center of that insanity is what y'all are doing up there. <laughs> how do y'all come up with that stuff, man? Dude, it's, it's, again, it came, it came from like the spawning of what we do all the time. We wanted to make something that was just entertaining. We don't make music for any market, that's why it doesn't fit in anywhere. We just, I mean, we, we make a slow jam like the I'm in love with the retard thing. Yeah. It doesn't fit our role at all, we just do it to do it. We hire a girl that's a, an amazing R&B singer out of like, literally out of uh, Chicago. We got her in a really green project singing, uh, or the, the other project singing on YouTube. We're like, you know, you want to destroy your street credit? We'll <laughs> we got you. And she, she sang, and she's like, she heard those lyrics, she's like, I'm in love with the retard. <laughs> Like, oh, that's fresh. I get it. It's a joke. It's not even a joke. It's like more like a shut the fuck up PC people. Okay, so yeah. PC. Oh, yeah. But why we do what we do is just to entertain. Uh, it, to me, it's like it's fun. Okay. Like, Dan Stafford coming. I, I hate seeing bands that be going. It's like I'm listening to the CD. Uh, you know, I'm not saying, not saying anything, not just respecting any bands, but like if I wanted to do that, I'd just stay in my house. Sure. Yeah, right. I'd get sexy and wear a small bathrobe, <laughs> a bottle of Chianti, and I'd move myself up and I'd watch, uh, I'd listen to Dino on the CD. <laughs> Yeah. Right, exactly. <laughs> okay. And, well, and then, uh, you know, speaking of that, like, how did y'all, I mean, I guess in about 2003, I really started noticing you guys. Okay. You know, how, how did y'all get intertwined in the Juggalo world? Because, I mean, as soon as I got there, it was like, that's just where you belong. I used to be in a group called the Bloodhound Gang. Sure. Uh, we were doing Bloodhound Gang stuff. We were writing about stuff. We were touring. And we were just sort of, the, the match was lit. And at that time, Psychopathic had just put out Riddle Blocks. And we toured, we came through a place called the Magic Stick and the Magic Bag. I believe mean, it was the name of the place. Um, we were, we were greeted with people handing us cassettes at the stuff for ICP, we didn't know why ICP was, there was no national campaign at this point. And me and Jimmy Pop were instantly like, fuck it up, right? So that went on, we were just fans, and then, you know, real box drops, and they start working on the next record. And around that time, I start, uh, me and MSG, the other guy from Wolfpack, decided to leave, and a couple other people leave, uh, still holding on to our ownership, luckily, but we, we walk away from, we start Wolfpack, and at that time, uh, we had a zine. Uh, which was back in my day. It was, a, it was an independent magazine that you put out for music and shit. And uh, lo and behold, I was like, let's call fucking Psychopath and get an interview with ICP. And once we called them, they knew who we were, we knew who they were, and the friendship has been there ever since then. So, and you know, it, it, we're from the whole school of like old punk rock, old like rebellion, you know, not fitting in anywhere. Blood on Gang 2. And that's what, if that's not a juggalo, I don't know what is. You know sure. what I mean? So we've been juggalo since. We don't claim it to get sales, we don't go on the thing and be like, you know, like all these other people that try to get it, try to jump in and try to say it to get there. there. But the, the right people know we're Juggalos, and that's all that matters. Right on. Uh, and, uh, it's been, we've been down ever since, and uh, we've just been friends ever since, so. Okay, right It's on. always been friends before it's been business with us. That's why it's, uh, it's just a, it's a good time. It's never been a <laughs> negative time. And you see a lot of, in the music industry, you always see negativity. It never happens with us. You know, like, we don't care. It's yeah. fun. It's like, <laughs> like, oh, we don't care like that person on fire? Okay. Our bad. Our sorry, bad. sorry, sorry. We won't do that next time. <laughs> and what's dope about that is the same stuff that we put out there that we want to see. We tend to see that a lot of jugglers want to see it too. So it's like titties and fire and booze and weed. Like, <laughs> what more do you need? That's <laughs> some fucking Popeyes chicken. Right. <laughs> and, some stuff, and some caffeine. And I mean, what more? And cold cock whiskey. Yes. Lots. You got it. Nice. Yeah. And you mentioned your time in Bloodhound. You're a founding member of yeah, Bloodhound yeah. Gang. Started in my basement. Uh, ran into my basement years after that and started Wolfpack the same way and still do. So right on, keep man. it indie, you know, keep it simple, keep it uh, dirty, ugly, and cheap. Yeah, no, Use Your Fingers is my favorite Bloodhound. Well, album. thank you. Thank yeah, you. in fact, I wonder, is there any chance of that ever get re released? You know what's funny is uh, Jim re released on the website, didn't ask me. And, I, and then he called me about it. I was like, yeah, it's cool. No problem. <laughs> I, I don't mind. It. He's, he's my homie. It's just like, what I mean, they're in a situation with their label right now, and they have a brand new record ready to go. Really? But uh, due to reasons between you know business, they're just sitting on it. He just dropped a track with Joey Fatone. Yeah, Joey Fatone, really? Cold, uh, what yeah. is it, not cool? I don't, I don't remember. I think it's called Not Cool. Like not cool but it's him like and Joey with Tony. It's so fucking good. hysterical. Yeah. And they have an album ready to go, but it, you know, it's because of label games. Right. Labels trying to stay, uh, trying to, labels are just trying to stay alive like they were in the 90s. And that's not the business anymore. That's antiquated. Those dinosaurs need to die. <laughs> and luckily they do because those dinosaurs die. Now we've got ways for people like Scum to put out their record. Or Prozac to put out the record before he was with Strange. Or, or even stuff like, you know, look, look at Boondocks. I mean, same thing. Boondocks is, I don't even know what label he's on right now, but he'll still be able to put out music. 
And if it wasn't for the, the, the labels dying the way they did, like fucking Christ, uh, he would never be able to put that music out. So we'll see if we'll see if Jim and those guys put their record out independently or through Universal. Either way, it's a ton for New Blood. Oh, absolutely, man. Any chance of those cats ever coming to the gathering? Good, good question. They've been asked before, and uh, it just didn't work. They're huge in Europe. Uh, so in Germany, here. they're like gods. Uh, so David Hasselhoff. <laughs> right, bold state, that yeah. level. Seriously, yeah. 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 Evil, yeah. Jared, Evil Jared went as far as to uh, expate America, and he's a German citizen now. Okay, well, <laughs> he just bought. It was funny because if you Google him online, it's uh, he fought. There's some reality show, like a Big Brother show in Germany, and they had like the bad boy of the show, <laughs> and they had him box Evil Jared. Uh, on this show, Evil Jared won in three rounds. Not this guy. I mean, the fuck out of this guy. He was like a, he was like a, like a Joey Marlino kind of guy, like a, a tough guy in Germany. And evil just housed him all the time. It was kind of sad watching. It was really like watching two grandfathers fight. Right? It was cool. It was, it was pretty cool. Okay. Uh, also, I want to talk about y'all's new video. Okay. Uh, it's a from it's the title track from the new album, mm -hmm. uh, Square Peg Round Hole. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes. I want to talk about this video. Okay. My first question is. <laughs> The Hello Kitty backpack. Was that on set or was that like out of your personal stash? No, it's, it, you know, it's so funny because I just raided her closet for stuff. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a lot of stuff that you don't see that we, we didn't make at it, like uh, people spitting, like the scenes where you're seeing all the stuff thrown at us. Yeah. I had somebody spit a loogie on my face and it was just too disgusting. And uh, Buddha, poor Buddha's getting pounded. Was, Buddha's outside, the, the one time where I'm walking through the thing, this thing, Buddha's outside throwing snowballs into the school bus. Yeah. If you watch it closely, yeah. you can catch one of them at the very, for a second yeah. <laughs> at the window. So Great. Good. Right. Uh, what you don't know about that video is in that time, it's, it's probably about negative degrees. Yeah. We're in a line with, with a stolen school bus. Yes. But my mechanic buddy, who does fleet repair, just, just took a school bus and we used it for two days and uh, just brought it back. And nobody, he's like, we just can't make sure nobody will see what, what school it came from. Thank you, Bowtie. Yes. Thank you, Bowtie. Bow yes, you know what I'm talking about. It was funny because originally we were going to take a decal and we we're going to put, uh, you know how schools have names of, like presidents and stuff? Yeah, sure. We we're going to put like, you know, uh, you know, Procrasy and Obama's school <laughs> for the fundamentally challenged. But then it was like $30 too much for a decal and we couldn't afford it. There's a Wolfpack budget. There is a Wolfpack it's from an access card. <laughs> <laughs> okay, speaking of the name Wolfpack, okay. something we kind of touched on before we started filming. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, you know, back in the 90s and early 2000s, there was this company, I forget, WC, I forget their name. Right. They didn't last, I don't know. Well, they had this little faction in there uh, who claimed the name, of course, Wolfpack. Sure. Now, you guys have been in mint, yeah, too sweet. Yeah. <laughs> you guys. All the gatherings and stuff. So has certain members of that faction, right. you know, Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, sure. X Pac. Yo, have y'all ever communicated about this? Two two funny things. One, we were so busy savvy when we were doing Blood on Game. While I was still in Blood on Game, we trademarked and copyrighted everything. Yeah. So you're talking really, really long time ago because I'm like 184 years old. <laughs> so like we're talking like Moses, the copyright, then the wheel. <laughs> so so we had it. Now when they turned around and they started using WWE or WWF or WT or WZ or whatever you want to call it. Whatever they started doing it. Yeah, whatever they, whatever cover it they let. Sorry Vince. Yeah, once, <laughs> twice, three times, right? Don't even have your company's name copyright? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a panda bear logo. Uh, so they turned around and uh, they started using it and I guess they, they did a trademark search and found we had it. And then they dropped it. That's why it went away so quickly. That's why it came up for a couple of years, and then it was like, just died. They just killed it off. Well, we've had it since then. I, I, we have that hand and Paul logo too. You've seen. You know, yeah, sure. Okay, so what's kind of funny is that we just found ASPCA has been using that logo for an adoption company for animal adoption. And I, of course, you get a call from my lawyer, and he goes, "We we've got a hit on the this, somebody's using this thing." And I Google it, and I'm like, "It's for animal adoption." He's like, well, "What do you want to do? How bad do you want to sue these guys?" I'm like, "It's for animal adoption." <laughs> It's your fucking animal adoption. <laughs> Fuck those He's animals. Let's take children while we're at it with hammers. Right. Like, oh, baby, 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 hammer. I'm like, it's for fucking animal adoption. We're like, no, give it, like, even sign, like, if they even ask us, just sign it over to them. Let them, let them use it for that. It's dope as fuck. Yeah. It was like, yeah. animal adoption. That's super cool. Yeah, so, and so for that, that's fine. For WW whatever, nope. <laughs> so we didn't, they didn't even ask us. They didn't even inquire to it. They just ceased and ceased it. And that was that. And uh, then about, I don't know, I want to say 06, 07. Yeah, it's probably 07. We had uh, uh, a, a then very uh, chemically <laughs> induced Scott Hall. Yes. Scott, okay. Come walking to our merchandise and had this with big X thing with X-Pod. <laughs> and it gets off the cart. 
takes him 35 minutes to get to. <laughs> yes. Roughly. And then comes up to one of our second, and then like uh, our second guy, Genocide, one of our other masked guys. And if you've seen Genocide, Genocide fights in New Jersey MMA. Okay. So he does like Hoist Gracie Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, sure. and he's Beats. fought for this stuff. You know, before you know, before all this stuff was popular, this guy has been training with uh, you know all that New York City family type stuff. You know, uh, you know Henzo Gracie, you know, all those guys. He's a monster. He's just a he's just a diesel guy. And he calls me up. He goes, Scott Hall's here. He's like, because I'm back at the hotel. <laughs> and he's like, and he's pointing at something. And he's doing like he's yelling something. <laughs> and he goes, What do you want me to do? I go, Well, go outside and like you know, see if it's routine, see if it's stick. Like, have fun with it. So Kevin goes out. He's like, you know, and he's the same size, but he's real deal. Like Kevin is the monster, genocide. And he's out there and he starts like saying stuff and, and, and starts getting like a wrestling promo. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking hysterical. And then we've got Corp. Corporal Robinson sure. at the time is, is like, it's don't worry about it, shtick, he's drunk, it's bullshit, don't worry. There's no heat, there's no real heat, it's crap, it's absolute bullshit. And then, uh, meanwhile, Xbox is in the car not wanting anything yeah. to do with anything. He's watching, like, he's, cool. he's, he's cool. just Come sitting on, hurry up. We <laughs> <laughs> need the nacho boat. And then, the so Genocide calls me back and goes, he goes, this guy's really, really getting, like, loud. And I said, well, let him throw a punch, like, antagonize him until he throws a punch. And when he hits you, beat the fuck out of him. Like, let it go down, like, get hurt. Like, let him hit you, then it's on him. But don't do anything until he does something. It ended up being pretty much just a bit of beer face and shtick. You know, the guy was in some rough shape, and now he's doing, I heard he's doing a mix yeah, yeah. now. No, totally, yeah. My hat's off to him, I think the guy, I think everything he's done in the wrestling thing, my hat's off to him. I don't know if that was shtick or him just trying to build heat. Yeah. Whatever it was, it was funny. Yeah. And it was funny because my, the, again, that guy, Genocide, doesn't even know him from Adam. He's just like, this big weird wrestler is drunk and yelling at us about merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> and then Kevin's like, well, then sue us. You know, he's yeah. like, Tim, go ahead. Go ahead. So, like, All if, right. if, if McMahon had a leg to stand, we would have been sued. Yeah. Like, whatever. Uh, so it didn't end up anything bad. It ended up funny. And uh, all of that, that was it. Yeah, that was really, that was it. Xbox, not even a word. No, nice Shout out got one back in the car. Now. We've all been on stage oh. together doing the yeah. Tango Armageddon. So yeah. You know, right. no, nobody gave me a flying elbow. So <laughs> Can you give me a little tornado punch? Yeah. Yeah. No. Hey, yo, you finished. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Gotta just do that and then just totally steal like, all his stuff. You know, I'm like, no, it's not us, man. I think the other thing is that we're faster than him. So, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Maybe we'll be fine. Probably forget about it pretty quick. Yeah. Um, right. I'm glad to see him doing good, though, because that wrestling game is like, it seems like a thankless game yeah. to a certain point. Like, these guys, um, you know, have rough times. All right, cool, man. Hey, guys, we're going to wrap it up. I'm getting good. signal. Thank you guys so much. Of course. Yes. Because of Sukas. Oh, absolutely, man. Make sure you right. come out to this tour. This tour, this is it. This yes. is the one you can talk about forever. TrueJugglerFamily.com with the Wolf Pack. Know about it. <laughs>